Hey everyone, welcome to the Bruce Williams channel. Today I want to feature this absolutely beautiful Glass Huta original Panomatic Lunar, but in the more uncommon green dial scheme here, color scheme, and it looks so good. But admittedly, I have a thing for green dialed watches. My Hulk is one of my favorite watches. I really enjoy the Auras Aquas in green, their best selling colorway. I really enjoy the Tag Heuer Aqua Racer in green. So it's fun to see what I consider a more sporty color on a classically beautiful watch with uh, very tasteful complications. I think this presents a very interesting dynamic. And I've been interested in the Panomatic Lunar for years. I've loved the blue dial from pictures that I've seen. The anthracite dial looks great. Even the white dial or the, the light silver dial looks very attractive. So I want to thank Nick of Exquisite Timepieces for lending in this absolute stone cold stunner for me to review. And I'll try to be more detail focused and, and unbiased, but this is a watch that I am very much personally interested in. Now it's called kind of the poor man's longa, which is very silly when you think about it. Uh, anything that costs thousands and thousands of dollars being a poor man's anything, but that's kind of the rap that it gets in the watch enthusiast community. And admittedly, our community can be a bit ridiculous, but let's look at the details here and look at the price point. And I think you guys will see where the value comes in and where the draw and appeal comes to play. So what we have here is offset time. So that's hours and minutes. We have offset seconds just below and intersecting also those offset hours and minutes. We have a pano date, which is another word for a grand date over where the five o'clock or four o'clock marker would be. And notice each one of those date digits or disks is on the same plane. And there's just a very fine seam line separating those two planes. And I, I think that's great. That is more impressive than what uh, Longa does at a far higher price point. So we have the panomatic date, and then we have the moon phase up above that, and that is done very well. Notice the black polishing of the moon disc. I think that's very sharp. So uh, I think it's an uncommon way, it's an asymmetrical dial, it's an uncommon way to present these complications, but I think very classically beautiful. And if we turn the watch over, this might be even more impressive and and sharply done so this is the in-house caliber 90-02 we have 47 joules a 42 hour power reserve 28,800 beats per hour and look at this gorgeous double swan neck fine adjustment that is black polished and we have a 21 karat gold oscillator weight on the three-quarter rotor that's offset. So we have an offset dial when it comes to the hours and minutes. And then we also have an offset smaller rotor. So there is some nice juxtaposition there. I think that that's a nice detail. And then we have a hand engraved balance bridge. And so every single one of these panomatic lunars that leaves the Glashütte studio in Deutschland will be engraved just a little bit differently on the balance. And I love that. I, I think that's great because you know what? We want a little bit of uniqueness as watch fans. We want a one of one. That's always an attractive thing whenever you're collecting something. And so the fact that you can get an uncommon dial color with a, uh, a completely original hand engraved balance bridge is just icing on the cake. And it's under $10,000. That is pretty wild for a traditional, classically beautiful design and execution like this Panomatic Lunar is. So we also have blued screws. This is all hand finished and it is adjusted in five separate positions. So um, I think this movement is so beautiful and I hope the details come through here in the video and you guys can see how exciting this is. I think it's probably more attractive than the dial side personally. Now I went on Glasshuta's website uh, to see what it would cost to service this movement. It's a level up because it's not a time only watch. It does carry some complications here with the pano date, with the moon phase, uh, with the micro rotor and everything. So if for a full service, and this is pricing from last year, 2019, this is the most recent I could find, it would cost $730 for a full service, which I was a little bit surprised at. I think that's very reasonable 
for the level of complication here. And if you wanted to get a refinish, that would be an additional $225. It's all hand finished. So you're roughly looking at $1,000, you know, maybe once a decade. Uh, I guess actually you probably want to service this before the decade, but um, maybe once a decade, get the refinish of the case. So it's actually pretty reasonable for long-term maintenance, in my opinion. And as far as the way this wears, it's 40 millimeter. It does kind of have a slab style when it comes to the side of the case. There is not a lot of nuance or finesse in that element or area, but it wears very nicely. My wrists are 7.25 inches in circumference, and I definitely think I could pull this off as a uh, as a very commonly worn watch in rotation. Now this is the leather strap and this one has the deployant buckle. You can get a pin buckle and you can also opt for a factory OEM bracelet that is uh, fully articulating, has a micro adjustment system in the, in, the, in the clasp. So that's probably what I would want to opt for because I'm a bracelet fan, but this certainly is uh, very sharp aesthetically. The quality is nice. I like the deployant. I like the finish. I like the signature, uh, but there are some options from the original equipment manufacturer. So guys, that concludes my presentation of the Glass Huta original Panomatic Lunar in green. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please let me know if you have any questions. I'm more than happy to try to help. Maybe I didn't convey a particular point very clearly. So uh, just reach out to me and I will clarify anything, answer any questions. And if you guys are interested or shopping Glass Huta, because you can get some nice discounts on this brand, definitely reach out to Nick of Exquisite. He uh, is a young watch enthusiast. He works with me a lot in sending in watches, beautiful watches for me to review and feature. And I've purchased from him a few times. So his contact is in the description of this video. For those of you interested, thanks again for watching today. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.